Oh my God. Do not, do not, do not make any five of these beginner mistakes when you're in the gym trying to build muscle and to get jacked. Let's get into it. Mistake number one, following or choosing a workout routine that is gonna be way too damn difficult for you to be able to possibly even maintain. Too often, we take a look at our favorite bodybuilders or favorite fitness Instagram individuals and we say, what the hell are they doing? They're in great shape. I wanna look like I'm in great shape just like those individuals. The only problem is, guess how frequently those motherfuckers are training? Yep, you're right, seven times per week, usually. And each one of those workouts, roughly about an hour and a half to two hours. That's all great and all if you wanna be a professional fitness model or a pinnacle of physical achievement, by all means, go ahead and do that. But for the beginner that's just trying to work out, if you're trying to adopt this routine right here, the reason I'm laughing is because you are going to fucking fail. And not only are you gonna fucking fail, but you are gonna fail so badly and hate your life so much trying to maintain that routine that you may never try and work out again. And what's gonna happen is after you failed, you quit, you're gonna try and get back into this routine and say, I just need more discipline. I just need to grind harder and be more committed to my workouts. So you'll try again. You maybe last one or two days, maybe three days, and then you'll fail. You'll keep trying and failing, trying and failing, trying and failing, and then you'll just think to yourself, fuck, this fitness shit is really difficult. It isn't. You're picking some ridiculous ass routines to try and follow. Instead, start with the simplest, most manageable strategy possible. Start with like a three day workout routine. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Just have active recovery in between those days. Walking, biking, hiking, playing sports with friends, rock climbing, just like be active and don't be a lazy motherfucker sitting on the computer all day and you'll pretty much be good. Item number dose. You see these clips right here? Pretty simplistic stuff, eh? You could probably do it. You could. But you don't. Really though, why do you not do this? Warming up, getting your body ready and like engaged before your workout is probably one of the most important things that you could be doing before your workouts. You see, you could go the route of just constantly having to go to the hospital, getting surgeries done, going to chiropractors, going to physiotherapists, going to doctors, feeling sore and in pain all the time, not able to train. But really, why the hell would you go through a process like that? The simple way to prevent these types of things from happening to yourself and as well for maximizing your results in the gym is simple. Warm up, get your body functioning, warm up your rotator cuff, warm up the muscles you're about to use. Use like 30 to 40% of the weight of an exercise you're about to get into. If you normally bench 200 pounds, why don't you just start with like 70, 75 pounds, get the fluids moving through your joints, don't feel so stiff and don't injure yourself. Like this is just so obvious. Spend about five to 10 minutes before you get into every single workout Warming up, getting blood flowing through you, getting the fluids going through your joint, and you will prevent injuring yourself an incredible amount. It's so simple, you need not be missing it. Okay, I want you guys to take a look at the difference between these two exercises right here. Exercise A, demonstration of the tricep extension, is the typical way that most guys perform the exercise. You probably recognize this. Now exercise B, this is how the exercise is supposed to be done. The difference between exercise B is a focused contraction of the triceps throughout the movement. I'm not just pushing weight. I'm not just trying to move as heavy of a weight as possible. And in fact, I'm using a weight that most guys would go, oh, look at this pussy. He can only do that amount of weight. I could do double that weight. I thought this guy was supposed to be jacked. This guy's just all muscle and no strength. When really, what I'm doing is the proper movement of the exercise and maximally contracting the one muscle group I'm trying to target, my triceps, and not engaging my chest and my shoulders trying to push the weight down. You need to be more focused on the activation of one single muscle group that you're targeting and the maximal contraction of that muscle group as opposed to just pushing some fucking weight because you want to compare up to your best friend or your bro who can do maybe 10 or 20 pounds more than you by engaging a whole shit ton of other muscle groups that aren't even required for the exercise. They're going to put you in a great position to get injured and well just look like a jackass. So don't just push weight to try and push as much weight as you possibly can. Instead, Focus on activating the muscle group that you're trying to target with the said exercise. All right, tip number four, I had originally like filmed my own clips of me demonstrating what not to and what to do, but instead I found like way better clips of some absolute beginner dumbasses in the gym demonstrating exactly what you guys should not do. And tip number four is using way too much weight with like the shittiest half rep form like you've ever seen in your life. Don't make this mistake. Now let me give you an example, okay, of how you guys should actually perform a proper full repetition with good control of the weight, with a full range of motion, with the proper contraction of the muscle group that you're trying to target. This is how you wanna perform this exercise. Please do not be one of those idiots you saw in the previous clips trying to eagle lift to the absolute max, rather, Focus on using a lighter weight and properly activating the muscle groups that you're trying to target without momentum, without incorporating other muscle groups, so on and so forth. Just don't be like 
those guys you saw in the clips before or you will end up in a fail compilation. All right, fifth and final tip involves these guys and these guys right here. For some reason, it so happens to be the guys that wanna build the most muscle and get the most jack tend to focus on like the smallest muscle groups in the body and actually put priority on those muscle groups too. Abs and biceps are a great example of this. Bros will just walk straight out of the gym, hammer out some curls, do some abs, crush the workout for like 45 minutes and then say, you know what? That was pretty good, that's all I need. They'll look in the mirror and they'll say, man, I'm getting jacked. And they're looking at their shoulders and their chest, but they only targeted their biceps and their abs. As opposed to focusing on your tiny little muscle groups that really aren't gonna make too much of a difference in your physique. Instead, you should be focusing on the muscle groups that are really gonna make your physique look phenomenal. I'm talking about your shoulders. And if you wanna get broad, wide shoulders, then the medial head of your shoulders. Focusing on your chest, upper chest especially. I was one of the people that neglected that big, big mistake. This is gonna give you that V taper physique, making your waist look even thinner and your shoulders looking, well, obviously, even broader. Focus on your big muscle groups, your shoulders, your chest, your back, your legs, okay? Your legs, don't, don't mistake those ones. Hit those muscle groups, prioritize them. Put them at the beginning of your workouts. Stop starting your workouts by like absolutely hammering your biceps and your abs when you should be prioritizing the big kahunas first and foremost if you wanna see the most amount of gains. So there you guys go. That concludes today's video. Five beginner ass workout mistakes that you guys must be avoiding if you wanna actually maximize the results of your physique and improve the rate of your progress. Now, if you guys made it this far in the video, be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what this is right here just so I can see who made it this far in the video and also so we can throw off everybody in the comment section too. And if I get enough comments about this, I'll release it to you guys. It's the Barbarian Body Snapback. It's pretty dope. I like it, looks great, feels great. Enough plugging. If you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to smash that like button down below and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I'll see you all in the next video.